I mean, look, looking at culture, art in Hull, we, we've mentioned Hull Truck, there's things like the Freedom Festival, that the council have said they're planning a bid to become the UK's city of culture. Um, We've been, we've mentioned Ferrans as well with, with some exhibitions mm. from some mm. of the, the great artists over the years. What what's your thought on that that sort of cultural? Well, package? from a regeneration point, as in government, I was involved in putting a lot of money for regeneration. I begin to discover. I think it was in Manchester, one of the two, and it certainly happens abroad in some countries that when the arts people get together and they see an old building and they turn it into a Celtic. Greenwich Village was a bit like that in a way. All the artists then convene there, all the creative talent come there, and I saw some of it in India as well. And there's one centre. There isn't a lot of money, but there's a lot of creativity, a lot of connection. And the whole area begins to glow in a way. Now, whether Hockney's films in one bit uh, of... Um, paintings which are absolutely brilliant you can't and a lot of people turned out to see them when they're on exhibition it's a very expensive way of doing it and sometimes when you think you're doing culture you've got to have a big thing that show your culture i think if they are going to do culture and i welcome the fact i hope that perhaps they can make it more of the people's culture and tie it into a living framework not something you've got for the year because you've got the culture for the year I think Hull has a chance to do something different with it. Uh, and if you say I've got to raise two million to do it, it usually means it might not take off. But if you can build it up from grassroots things, this creative, which a friend of mine, Bob, has been trying to argue we should do uh, down on the fruit market. And I think my weakness is I look at the kids' faces as I did at Preston Road the other week when they were doing the music and dance festival. And to see that, you're saying, there's an awful lot of talent here. They have that burst, and then they don't probably ever do anything about it again. How do you transfer that creativity, that natural creativity that helps that person develop potentially, individually, but creates an entertainment and a connection that captures some of that entertainment. And I was staggered to find there are not many press there. So I asked, why is that? They said, oh, well, because uh, the council man who helps them with money and development has decided that this isn't art because it's not creative. Namely, the dance instructor has treated, uh, to, uh, you know, to do the dance. It's interesting, isn't it? How do they deal with ballet under those terms then? Because that's dancing in a different way, and it's taught, and it's structured, and it's skill. So I just think that definition, and it'd be usually somebody of a middle class view, taking the higher line of what they think, our class, our culture, and somehow working class cultures less. Certainly enjoyed by a lot more. If you identify what they think is their history, their community, their culture, then you will be connected with them. All too often you've probably got a great play on, but you're not necessarily filling the audience. And you have to do two things. But to me it's not bums on seats. It's people being proud of their own history and feeling, that I know that. That is something of mine. And yet the other one, you know, up and under. Oh, blimey, I mean, it's powerful. Just a few people on the stage. I mean, the theatre has a chance to convey something far greater than the space of the stage. But it's got to connect with people for it, so they all go back and talk about it. You can imagine all working people say, Oh, I went to the theatre last night. Bloody theatre, what did you go there for? Well, it was very good, and you couldn't get through that. Yet they all sit down, watch the telly, and talk about the play last night.